All right, there we go. I think we have sound now. Let's see. All right, there we go. All right. I don't know why it does that once in a while. All right, there we go. All right. Okay, hello. Okay, we are on YouTube and we are also on both of the Fenton uh, pages. So I want to say hello to you. You'll see that I am inside the Fenton gift shop. The Fenton gift shop. When Fenton was in a big building, when the gift shop was huge, I thought it would be fun today to have the gift shop behind me in reminiscence of some of the old days um, of some of you that had been to the gift shop. So yeah, look at look at it. Isn't it cool? Don't you wish you could shop in there? Take a look. Wow. Man, oh man. This is when it was a gift shop. It was right a part of the Fenton factory. And um, you could walk in and and uh, this is what you would see. So um, that is our background today. Good evening. Good evening. We're having a great day. Hello, hello. Okay, I am just showing everybody's comments here. Catherine, Catherine, hi. Sean, Mary. Okay, so we have, hey, Wayne, how are you? You were here? Yeah, look it. We are here. We are here today. I am working at the Fenton gift shop today. Of course, everybody's gone. So um, I'm just holding the fort down. Um, I think I want to steal some of those lovelies over there, but uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, fantasy. I'm trapped inside the Fenton gift shop overnight. They forgot and locked me in. <laughs> <laughs> but I have my camera for you guys. <laughs> yeah, that's the Fenton gift shop. This is the original Fenton gift shop. Now it's in a strip mall and it's a tiny little place. Back in the day, it was a part of the Fenton warehouse and it was huge. And you're only looking at one room here. Um, it, it spanned across the front of the building. So yeah, <laughs> okay. So it brings back memories. Yeah, there you go. Um, I thought you guys might enjoy this. So th this, is our, this is where we are today. And days gone by, I'm bringing it back to you. First time watching you. Hi there. So we do have some first time people. So let's go over a few of the details today. We are on three venues. We are on two Facebook pages. One, Rosie's Fenton Art Glass. Um, very familiar on how we work with StreamYard and YouTube. Um, our new site, Fenton Art Glass, buy or sell. Um, you, we've had one sale with you. So I'm gonna remind you of what you need to do. You need to go in and register with StreamYard and there is a link that is associated with the ad. It's just StreamYard.com. You need to give permission so that I can see you because I'm not in Facebook tonight. If you haven't done that, that is fine. Um, but if you bid, you need to put your name first slash your bid. You just can't bid. And when you're out, you need to put your name slash out so that I can see you so I don't miss anybody's bids because I'm collecting bids from all over. So um, that is the Facebook. If you are on YouTube, um, and you're a first time watching, uh, watcher like JS is. So um, all you have to do is bid. We don't have just in cases. We want you to bid till you're out. So just say you're out. And um, if you win, I'll post my email on the screen and uh, you can screenshot it and send me a hello via email. And that's how I will invoice you. If you're on Facebook new watching this time, um, I will message you in Messenger, and I will invoice you that way. Hello, Anita. Hello, Gail. All right. So we're going to get started with something um, little here just to give you guys an idea of how we work for anybody that might be new. I think we have two Fenton shoes, and I don't think this boot is a shoe, but we're going to go ahead. New. All right. Facebook user. See? Now look at the screen over here, Facebook user. That's how I see you because you haven't registered. So I'm fine with you bidding. Why don't you just put your name in right now and put copy so that every time you bid, you can put paste in your bid, paste in your bid. That way I'll know who you are. Because as it gets active here, I don't want to miss your bid. Okay, 
especially when you're bidding. And uh, I think you're out or something. So we're going to start with some shoes. Let me bring this um, camera in here. We're going to do choice on the shoes. And this is number one. We have a lot of stuff. Hi, Joe Baldwin. <laughs> nice to see you. Welcome to the Rosie family. All right, Sh choice shoe. All right, so we'll, let's show them how it's done, everybody. Choice shoe. Now you're gonna put a bit on it. You're gonna hear the music play. We might dance around a little bit. I don't know what we're gonna do, but while the music's playing, you can bid. And then um, that kind of gives us a little bit of structure to our time. So rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling. She's bid once. Here we go. All right. High bid is eight. Now we have 10. This is for choice. You see the green kitty cat over the shoe? I don't think that lilac one, I don't think that boot is um, Fenton, but the other green one is. Okay, Facebook user, I cannot see who you are. Put your name in first. Russell's at 10 at the moment. Mary Hale Ford, hello from Central Florida. It's nice to see you tonight. If you want to keep track of that page, you can. Okay, you can't. We can. So Facebook user 20, could you let us know who you are? Or Russell, could you let us know who they are? Because I, I don't want to take their bids unless I know. Russell's at 10. Now shipping on something like this is $3. And you can buy all you want tonight for seven. You can buy the whole sale if you want, and I'll only charge you seven. Russell is in at 10. Does anybody else do that? Shipping? Okay. Oh, Billy okay. Joe. Billy Joe is in at 20. Okay. So $20 is bid. We'll do a last chance. So Russell is admin over on Fenton Art Glass by herself. So he is he saw he saw Billy Joel bid twenty. So twenty is our high bid. Rolene is out. Eva bid twelve. So we'll see if she's in or out. We're going to do a last chance. No, it's for choice. So we're going to take you out. It's for choice. It's choice shoe. That's okay because you're new. So we have Russell in at 10. Um, Eva is in at 12. He didn't understand it was choice. So go ahead and bid again, Billy Joe, if you if you want to. Otherwise, I took you out because you didn't know. So Eva is in at 12. We'll wait for Billy Joe. And we'll wait for Russell. So you're going to get your choice of this um, green, the purple, or the avocado. You'll have to wait till I say you want it. You, Billy, Billy, uh, Billy, bid again if you want. She said in. Okay. Good evening, Deanne. How are you? Okay. Um, Billy Joe, you are the winner. And you want the lilac boot. Okay, make sure I got the right one. And Billy, I'm going to go ahead and invoice you for that through Messenger. So if you want to send me a message, it's Heidi Ann Brown on Facebook, on Facebook, me with my little dog, and I'll be able to get a hold of you, okay? And I'm assuming that you want the lilac boot, because that's what you that's what you said in the beginning. Hi, Anna. Okay, our backup is Eva. Eva, would you like either one of these? Billy Joe took the boot. And Eva, let us know.
I got you, Billy Joe. You want the lilac boot. Okay, Eva, did you want either one of these? Now, this one has raised roses. That's, that's a more contemporary boot, probably from the 80s or 90s. And this one has the avocado green. That one's from the 70s. So if Eva doesn't want it, it'll be up for grabs. Hello, Anna. Eva, would you like one? All right. Up for grabs. If you want one, just claim it. Either boot. Thanks, Eva. Hi, Kato. Twenty bucks. How much for both? Novel idea. Let's let's put them up for both. Number one. This is going to be a lot of shoes. So I'll put them up, both of them, for one money. And you guys can start me. Let's do it again. Both for one money. You're getting the more contemporary one from the 80s or 90s and then the one from the 70s. Two for one. Oh, Natalie said she wants the green shoe. All right, here we go. 14. We're selling them both together. My method of payment is PayPal. Although PayPal, my link, you should be able to use any credit card you have. I also accept checks. You don't have to worry about uh, money orders. Checks are fine. Rolene's at 14. You're getting two for one money. Natalie's in at 16. Hello, Peggy. I wish you luck on your knee surgery, Peggy. Our thoughts will be with you. Natalie is in at 16. Watch the screen over here. That's where the bids are. Natalie Wagner is in at 16. You're getting two for one money. Rolene is in at 17. You're welcome, Mary, and welcome to the Rosie family. Hello, Chrissy. Peggy, uh, Miss Peggy Mulford there, she is having knee surgery this week. So keep her in your prayers for a speedy recovery. Rolene is in at 17. This is for both shoes. It's not choice now. We put them in both. Natalie is out. Good morning to, or good evening, Dolores. I'm, I don't even know where I'm at. $17 is bid with Rolene. I'm going to check all of the bids and see if we are all out. Our backup bidder was Natalie. Um, so 17 is bid, all in, all done. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and sell it to Rolene for 17. You're getting both shoes, both green shoes. All right. And Rolene, I'm going to put up my um, email. Could you take a quick screenshot of that email? And that way you'll know how to get a hold of me. Just just send me a hello in your in your email. You may have already done that. But if you would do it again tonight, it'll help me just in invoice you even quick. And that's the name of the game. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see what we have. We're going to do a couple bells. These are Mother's Day bells. And they're kind of hard to find. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. I don't, I don't think we can see these on the screen here. This one is Mother's Day 1980, and it is Kay Cuttingham. It has the little bird on there. Sweet little chubby bird. Sweet little chubby bird. That is one choice. The second choice is Mother's Day 1984. This is custard satin, and this is the precious panda. This is the precious panda. I don't think um, Fenton did very many things with pandas. Matter of fact, I think this is the only thing that they did with pandas. 
So you're going to get your choice. And I think they both glow. Let's go ahead and get them started. This is number two. Thank you. Yes. I, where does my, oh, here it is. I think they both glow. Yep. Look at, they both glow. They're glow getters. Uh, Charles Gray is asking me, what is the largest Fenton collection I have bought? I have bought a Fenton collection that fits in one house and 12 storage units. Um, so Charles, any size, it's no problem for us. Okay. Choice Bell. And here we are. These are seven inches. Seven inches. You're going to get your choice. And Joel is going to start us out at 20. And here we go. $20. They're glow getters. They are glow getters. Yeah, John doesn't even want to remember that that day that we got that estate. Really. 12 storage units. We still have 500 tubs left in one. They're glow getters. They both glow. $20 is bid. Joanne Edwards is at 25. Just so you know, tonight we are giving away this beautiful leather bag full of bath and body eucalyptus mint. You're going to have the hand soap and you're going to have the beautiful candle that is going to be given out as a prize when we draw the winners of tonight's sale. So if you win, you get a chance. Okay, $30. Joel is at 30. If you are on a Facebook venue and if you have not gone to Steam Yard and registered, which you know if you have, put your name in before you bid so I can see you because I can't watch all three rooms tonight. And um, just just copy your name every time you bid, and that way you won't have to for, you won't forget. Or go on YouTube. YouTube, if you watch YouTube. Um, you're going to get the best picture. You're going to get the best everything, and you can put us on your TV. Okay, Joe Ann uh, Edwards is at 32. Thank you, Rolene. Joanne Edwards is at 32 for choice. Joel, let us know. You're going to get your choice of the panda or the little bird. You will get choice. They're both adorable. Joanne Edwards is in at 32. Joel, let us know if you're in or out. We'll do a last chance. Joel's at 34. Remember, tomorrow is Fenton Friday. Fenton Friday in the morning at 10 at 10. Tomorrow night is a jewelry sale. I got my sorting bins in today, so we're going to have a boutique sale very soon. You better win tonight. <laughs> Peggy's in at 35. Doggone lag, I know it. Peggy Mulford is in at 35. She's our first. Joanne, I see your bid, but Peggy beat you. They're glow getters. Look at that. They glow. Really detailed painting on each bell. There's a lot of work that went into these. 36 with Joanne. 38 with Joel. You'll get your choice on bell. These are the seven inch bells. These are the Mother's Day bell. bells. The uh, panda is from 1984. The little bird, I can't remember. I'll see the year as it comes around here. Joel's at 38. Joanne, let us know if you're in or out. Got a lot of stuff to get through tonight. We're going to move as quickly as we can. Joanne, um, Peggy Mulford's out. Uh, just waiting for Joanne. Mother's Day bell with the little bird is 1980. So these are pretty old. Just waiting for Joanne. Just let us know, Joanne, if you're in or out. We still have active bidding with 39, Joanne. We get some interesting pieces tomorrow um, for Fenton Friday. If you haven't been to a Fenton Friday sale, it's 10 in the morning. And um, we go through 10 flat fast lots. Joanne is at 39. Joel, in or out? 40 with Joel. This is for choice. Waiting for Joanne. Don't we have some circular love stuff? Um, I don't know. I'm, we do. We have we have everything. It's just where is it? 
Well, I think some of that, that new name off the gap will show up a little. All right. Thanks for what you did do, Joanne. You'll get back up. So, uh, Joel, you are the winner. Joanne is the backup bidder. Joel, let me know which one you would like. You can take them both if, you, if you'd like to. Just let me know. Joanne, you'll be the backup. We'll see what Joel wants to do. Okay, going to take them both. Both Mother's Day bells. All right. All right, we're going to move on. Hi, Mark. Nice to see you tonight. Hope all is well with you and Sam. We need to get you on here so we can do a sale with you. I need to have some sale buddies. All right. Next up, we're going to go number three. And um, let's go ahead and start this one. I'll show it to you. Number three is the lilac pitcher. All righty, here we go. Number three. This one is one that you don't see very often. It's a museum collection from 2003. It's beautiful in its irid lilac color. Oh, I'm using the screen here. There it is. It has poppies on it or pansies. Maybe they're pansies. But it's it's irid and it has the original Fenton sticker there and it's got a handle that looks like a twig. Pretty cool. I'm going to show it to you here and I'm going to start taking your bids. Deanne Campbell is in at 15 and here we go. So you can dance if you want. I'm going to dance here in the gift shop. But... That's okay. Heidi says we have everything. It's just where it is. Oh, that's such a true statement, Joel. If only you knew. <laughs> if only you knew. Four inches tall. Tomorrow night, we're going to have a jewelry sale. It is going to be a great jewelry sale. Unless I change my mind and have a boutique sale. I've got all kinds of QVC clothes. It's got to go. I'd have the sale Sunday, but it's Mother's Day. I forgot. So I'm going to put some names on the wheel for our prize, Billy Joe. You got to be here to win when we're all done. Rolene and Joel. Okay. Let's see where we're at. Leisha, 23. Deanne, 24. I do know you're causing me to go broke. <laughs> oh, I love what I do. It's so fun. I just, I love to go out and buy and go through boxes. It's like Christmas time and it doesn't matter what it is. It, I like glass, pottery. I like everything. Natalie Wagner is in at 25. So Deanne and Leisha, let us know if you're in or out. And Joanne's in there too. So there's a lot of people bidding. Just let us know if you're out. It's $7 shipping tonight. And you can buy as much as you want for that. So take advantage of it. There it is. Natalie is in at 25. You hope you get some fenton. Oh, you know, oh my goodness, Eva, I don't see one darn basket. I'll put some baskets in the morning, Eva. There's Babs. Hi, Babs. Deanne is in at 26. Natalie, let us know. $26 is bid. I'm going to do a last chance. Deanne is in at 26. Natalie, let us know if you're in or out. Waiting on Natalie. Natalie's in at 30. Welcome all the new people. It's it's wonderful to see everybody tonight. Natalie is in at 30. Deanne, in or out. We wait for the bid, just like a real auction house. How is Babs tonight from Owasso, Michigan? It's a rainy night in Michigan. It sure is. All right. It is sold to Natalie Wagner. Hi, Natalie.
Okay. Natalie, I'm going to get a hold of you via personal messages on this one. Um, if you if you want to send me a hello or send Russell a hello, either one of us, so we can get a hold of you. Um, it's Heidi Ann Brown on Facebook. <clears throat> But I'll I'll find you from your post if nothing else. But if you can send me a hello, um, that would be awesome. We have 75 peeps in the house right now. All right. And you won that for $30 and you're gonna love it. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, backup bidders. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, find a basket in the morning i'm sure i might i might come up with a basket tonight i don't know all right we're gonna move on we're gonna put up a fairy lamp number five we have this wonderful little fairy lamp look at that yeah hit the thumbs up on on youtube that's for sure this is this is a Gloria Finn. Gloria Finn is one of the um, first artists at Fenton, and this is um, this is a cabin scene on custard. This one will glow. I'll put it on the stand, and you'll see it glow. Um, and this is Gloria Finn. She is one of the original Fenton artists. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up here for you and get us started. This is beautiful. It was awful. Oh my gosh, Babs. Number four is the um, Gloria. I'll put you, I'll put down her name. Gloria Finn Fairy Lamp. And this is Fenton. All right. Here we go. 15 is bid. This is one of my favorite fairy lamps. It's a glow getter. There it is. All right. Let's collect some bids here. Let's see where we're at. Terry Lynn Peterson, $20. Catherine Pace, $25. Uh, uh, Joanne, you've got to put your name in or I can't see you. Joanne Edwards, 25. If you haven't registered with StreamYard, please put your name in. Peggy Mulford, 27. Terry Lynn Peterson, 28. If you just want to go to YouTube, you can go to YouTube and watch me. And I'm just on at Rosie's Auction House. Rosie's Auction House. Blue Flamingo, 35. Natalie's out. 35 is bid. It's a glow getter. It's on fire. I see Joanne. I see R30. Vicki Martin is going to bid at 40 right here. Uh, 40 is our high bid right now. Several people bid 40, but Vicki Martin came in first. Consider it like a real auction house, and I'm the auctioneer, and I bring in the auctions from all over the house, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So um, when you raise your hand, like you want to get my attention, John <laughs> or, or Heidi, or let me know. If I can't see your name, it's going to be hard for me to take your bid. So if I don't know you um, and don't recognize you, I can't take your bid. So um, maybe if I'm on one venue, it's okay, but when I'm on three, it gets kind of difficult for me. We do have Russ watching uh, the um, Fenton Art Glass site, and John is watching the Rosie's Auction House site. Eva is at 50, and it glows like crazy. Catherine is out. Eva is at 50. Blue Flamingo, I see your 50, but Eva was first. Vicki Martin's at 55. Now, this is a Gloria Finn. And Trudy was in here for coffee last week, and she told us the original Fenton artist, and Gloria Finn was, was in there first with Louise Piper. So one of the original artists at Fenton. Joel's at 56. 
you can do that. You can show them on there if it would help. Does it have, it has a note inside. What does it say? It just tells about the heat. It does, or is that? Oh, I thought that was. No, they, they all came from. from I thought maybe that was Robert's. All right, 60 with Eva, 65 with Blue Flamingo. It glows. We have a lot of bidding, but Blue Flamingo was our first 65. Joel and Vicki Martin, Eva, you are all out at the moment. We're going to do a last chance. Uh, Vicki Martin's in at 66. 80 peeps. Remember, if we get to 100, everyone gets free shipping tonight. Oh. I said if we got 30 on, on uh, Russ's site, we would then give away a piece of money. Okay, 70 with Joel. How do you bid on YouTube? Just throw it out there. Just like you're doing, but I'll be able to see you on YouTube. 73 Blue Flamingo. It, bidding's easy. It's the paying for it. <laughs> Blue Flamingo is in at 73. If you go to YouTube, you go to Rosie's Auction House, and um, you'll see my playlist, and you'll see that I'm live with one. And all you have to do is click that um, video, and you'll be all set. Vicki Martin is in at 75. Blue Flamingo is in at 78. You just want to get in the gift shop with me. I've never been in the gift shop. You're in the gift shop now. Oh, how cool. I'm going to get something back here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. 78 with Blue Flamingo. Joel is out. Vicki Martin, let us know if you're in or out. Blue Flamingo is in at 78. Vicki Martin is in at 80. He wants to get in the gift shop behind me <sighs> days gone by all. yep vicky martin is in at 80 blue flamingo let me know if you're in or out it does indeed glow and it is a gloria finn so it's an early early one 84 with blue flamingo You see no place to comment. Um, I'm, I'm but YouTube. you're on you're on Facebook. You need to go into YouTube. I see your comment on Facebook. You you can bid mm -hmm. on Facebook. Just put your name first. Just and what I would do if it was me, I would put Heidi Brown and I would copy it and I'd paste it every time I bid. And that'll do the same thing. And then if you see us again, come on. You you can go to Streamyard and register. Don't worry about it tonight. Yeah, just wherever you're commenting from, just go ahead and make and do a bit. And to Joe and Jordan. And to Joe and Jordan. I see you. I see you. Earth to N2 Joe and Jordan. You are being seen. Your test has worked. 90 Blue Flamingo, Vicky Martin, let us know. Can you imagine when they were doing these? Look at how detailed. Oh, That's okay. We all have nicknames here. I'm going to call you N2. Look at <laughs> how detailed that is. Isn't that cool? It is pretty. Vicki Martin's at 92, waiting on Blue Flamingo. Blue Flamingo is 95. Not 100 on this. 100 in attendance numbers. We are now at 83. I can breathe kind of easy. I don't think we're going to get there. Oh, you might. Blue Flamingo's at 95. Vicki Martin, let us know if you're in or out. The artist is Gloria Finn, artist Linda Fleming. <laughs> 99. 99. It's Deanna Dove. Okay. Well, today on YouTube, you're N2 Joe. <laughs> She's Deanna Dove. She's Deanna. I'll call you Deanna, Deanna. <laughs> 99 with Blue Flamingo, Vicki Martin in or out. We're going to do a last chance. 100 even, Vicki Martin. Blue Flamingo, let us know if you're in or out. $100 with Vicki Martin. We are waiting for Blue Flamingo. We'll just give her a second. We don't do just in cases. This is a, an auction house. We will give everybody the opportunity to bid until they put their paddle down. 
which means they tell us they're out. Blue Flamingos at 105, Vicky. 106. 106 is bid. Gloria and I played cards at night by the light of the burn barrel while on strike. <laughs> Oh, Gloria and Linda were on strike with Benton's and they played cards by the light of the burn barrel. <laughs> what memories she's got. Uh, 110 with Blue Flamingo. That 111 has, with Vicki Martin. That has to be Linda, right? Linda, yeah. Linda. Hi, Linda. For, for everybody that does not know, our Fenton artist Linda Fleming is in the house here. She's going to be having a really good sale coming up. She certainly is. Vicki Martin's at 111. Blue Flamingo, in or out. 115. We still have active bidding. Blue Flamingo is at 115. I want to welcome everybody and our new guests. We welcome you to the Rosie family. Enjoy your stay. We hope to see you come back and back and back some more. Vicki Martin is at 16. Blue Flamingo. Beautiful cabin scenes. There were a lot of artists that painted the cabins. There is a place that says live chat. Yes, on, on YouTube, you want to be in, in a live chat, not top chat. All right. Thanks, Blue Flamingo, for what you did do. Our winner is Vicki Martin. Congratulations, Vicki. That's beautiful. You're in charge of sticker duty. Oh, okay. No problem. All right, we're just gonna keep moving through this stuff. We we actually have put in a plum dog also tonight. So oh, we put in some ducks, some plums, and I can grab something else too if we need to. All right, so I'm gonna show you this one. We're gonna get rid of this one. This one does not glow. Mm. Of course not. It's a beautiful lilac. Okay. I found this piece interesting. I'm gonna get you started on it. It's number five. Um, and this is a lilac bow vase. And I'll show you what is so interesting to me. You can start it where you may. It's got this little dippy do up here like a JIP, but it's on the side of the bow. Usually, if you've got this little dippy do, it's on the reverse side, on the back. So I don't know if this is normal for this piece or this is something that they were goofing around with. Um, I have not seen this piece with this little thing up here, but um, this is what you're getting. And this is a Fenton piece and it is in lilac. Yeah. Uh, Denise still likes Facebook bets. A lot of people like Facebook. That's why we try to be everywhere. And uh, I try to make sure I see everybody. And and that's what's, it's just like an auction house. I'm And I'm an auctioneer. It's just like it is on the auction house. I see you from all over, all over the house. No, I haven't seen one either with that little, that little uh, doodad there sticking up in the air. So I'll measure it for you. Natalie's in at 30. It is almost, well, it's eight and a half inches tall. It's really pretty. This is going to be number five. Natalie's in at 30. If you win tonight... You're going to be in the drawing for the leather bag. Look at this. I'm going to just, I'm going to switch uh, gears here. This leather bag is Bath and Body, and it has eucalyptus hand soap in it, aromatherapy. It has a beautiful candle. All Bath and Body. All right, here we go. Let's see where we at. N2 is in it. Nope, Debbie. Debbie Voigt was our first 35. I'm sorry. Debbie Voigt Swift. Uh, Deanne, I see your 35, but Debbie Beecha. Natalie, you're out at the moment. 35 is bid. We'll do a last chance and remind you of where our bids are. Uh, Blue Flamingo is now at 38. I love the way they did the top on this. 40 with Deanne. I do too. I, I thought it was really unusual. It's almost like a JIP, but look at how they 
They brought this down. They crimped it. Deanne is in at 40. Blue Flamingo, let us know if you're in or out. Really pretty. Blue Flamingo is now in at 42. Deanne, you're on the hot seat. 45. It's very pretty. I don't think you're going to find one like it. Deanne is in at 45. Blue Flamingo, let us know. Debbie is out. Thanks, Debbie, for what you did do. It's always appreciated. Teresa said she hasn't seen one like that either. And I no. That top looks like it's something they did different. Right. Just waiting for Blue Flamingo. Rolene is out. Deanne's in at 45. Flamingo, let us know. It is pretty. I like the color. The color's, the color's really pretty with a light lilac. All right. Everybody is out. I'm going to go ahead and sell it. All right. Um, Deanne, I'm going to go ahead and post my email there if you want to screenshot it and send me a hello so that I know that um, I can get a hold of you. Otherwise, I'm going to put your name down. But if you could email me, that that's the easiest way. And then I can I can invoice you on Messenger if you'd like. The lilac bow vase. Let's see what that final bid was. 45. Okay. All right. Um next up, I'm gonna do this pair of turquoise candle holders. John, do you want to shine up one of these for me? Okay. D and Na. Okay. Got it. I got it. Okay. So we're going to do something mid century now. And then I think we'll sell the Epern after this one. Um, either one is fine, Deanne. Either one. Okay, number six. Hey, Johnny. Johnny's in the house. Kato's in the house. Candy Collins is in the house. Hey, yeah. There, Kato. Nice to see everybody tonight. Okay. Here we go. You're going to get the pair, and I'll show you these. John's cleaning them up. Um, you're going to get the pair of these turquoise. I don't know why I'm getting all that feedback there. Um, all, these are turquoise, and you're going to get the pair of these lovely turquoise candle holders. These are from the 60s. They are just gorgeous in turquoise. I'm going to put them over here so you can get the correct color. And here we go. Look at that. You're going to get the pair. They have the silver crest and they're turquoise. They are for the taper candles. And they are five inches tall. And it's kind of hard to find these both together. They, they tend to get separated through the years. Here we go. Rolene, Rolene. She's a 20. Hi, Flower. How are you? Hi, Sparks. Gang's all here. $20. I didn't know Sparky was here. I just, I think this is some of what Sparky started in black. This is the turquoise. Hi, Johnny. Now, the turquoise, what's the other colors? Is it pink? There's a pink and there's a, a pastel green. And they call it green, but it, to me it looks like Blue yeah, but but those colors are flat. This is the glossy turquoise with the silver crest. They're very pretty. We have 30 with blue flamingo. Now I'm getting warm. Blue flamingo is at $30 on the silver crest turquoise item. Anne is in at 32. Hi, Debbie. There's my girl. There's my California girl, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Ann's at 32. Vicki Martin, let us know. We have 35. Looks like Denise Sparks. If I'm wrong, let me know. 
Tomorrow's 10 at 10 is Fenton Friday. Um, so you don't want to miss that. Um, if you do come in the morning and buy something, it's only going to be a couple dollars more. If you get something here tonight, we'll combine shipping. Tomorrow night is our big jewelry sale. Vicki is in at 36. Am I giving you a No, this, this sweater actually came out of the boutique sale items. I was cold when I came out here. It's, it's raining and about 48, 49. It's, it's that damp cold. They would be pretty painted, but sometimes we get a piece like this and we consider, do we want to change them? Because you don't find too many of them. So um, that's what I thought about this. Oh, flower. I have to say, I look forward to your lives. You're a breath of fresh air. What a nice thing to say. All right, let's see where we're at. $40 with Blue Flamingo. And let us know if you're in or out. Vicki Martin's at 41. Here's the, the pastels are really pretty. They are. And so mid century. This is so classic 60s. Mm -hmm. Ann is out. You had sunshine in Birch Run. Did you go to the outlet center? Babs, did you go to the outlet center? What's your favorite store? Ann is out. Uh, let me see. I got to concentrate here. Um, Vicki Martin, were you bidding? Let's see. Vicki, are you out? We'll do a let. Okay, Vicky's in. Blue Flamingo is out. 45 with Blue Flamingo. I shouldn't talk so much. How does this work? First time watcher. Welcome to the Rosie family. Bella. Bella. Okay. Um, all you gotta do is bid. Not then all you gotta do is get a hold of me or let let it uh find a way that I can get a hold of you, which is personal messages on Facebook. Really easy. Yep, really easy. Just send your hi. Just say hello, I'm Bella. Yep. All right, Vicki Martin is at 46. Blue Flamingo, let us know. Oh my God, there's 91 people in here. You're only eight away. Oh, wait a minute. Here's nine. Excuse. <laughs> Vicki Martin is in at 46. Forty-six with Vicki Martin, Blue Flamingo. Let us know. Remember to like the page if you're on YouTube and give me a thumbs up. Maybe hit the notification bell so that you know when we go on. We're going to have a longer burger sale. We're going to have a boutique sale, a jewelry sale, and a Fenton sale in the next few days. All right. So Vicki Martin's at 46. We're waiting for Blue Flamingo. Waiting on Blue Flamingo. Still a really good deal for those. Like okay, thanks, Blue Flamingo, for what you did do. We're going to go ahead and sell it to Vicki Martin. And this one is number six, the turquoise candles. You know, that just shows how people treasure this glass because they've kept it in such good shape over the years. I mean, you see stuff from the early 1900s of time. All right. Oh, that's pretty. Watch your phone. Okay, there we go. We have the one horned Epern. Number seven. We're going to let them start it. Yeah. Up to you. We're going to let you start it. Um, sometimes we do, we don't do that, but we'll let you start it. Oh my gosh. Yes, this is gorgeous. So this is number seven, the, um, one horned Epern. And here we go. We have active bidding. I'm going to go ahead and put the music on. John's cleaning it up a bit and I will collect some bids. Natalie is at 30. Ann's at 35. Russell is at 55. Russell is at 55. Catherine is at 65. 
They're just for our decorations. You can use you can use the horn as a vase and, and maybe put petals or whatever. I they're just gorgeous. Sixty-five is bid. People do it in a lot of different ways. They put flowers in it. Some of them, you know, I like it when they put, you know, four or five pieces of the same color. So this is stretch glass. You can see the texture of the glass and how it catches the light. It is stretch glass. This is should have a logo on the bottom. Yes. It doesn't necessarily have a logo on the bottom. It says it's 224 out of 360. Wow, that is that is not a high number at all. There wasn't a lot of them. So there was only three. Let, let me see if that's 360 or 860. Looks like it's 350. It's 224 out of 350, and the logo is on one of the petals. Look at the stretch glass. It is beautiful, and it is in a deep, deep purple. All right. Um, let's go ahead and see where we're at. So Yvonne was at 68. Uh, Russell is at 76. Okay. 76 is bid. There's no chips or flaws. The color is beautiful, especially I want to show you this on the other camera. Catherine's at 80. Look, look at the color in the stretch. Oh, it's beautiful. Jen, can you measure that for them? Okay. Dolores, I see you're 80, but Catherine beat you. Now Johnny is coming in at 100. 10 inches high, it is 9 inches wide. 105 with uh, Catherine Pace. I'm going to add some winners to our wheel. We're giving away the gift set today. So we're going to put Natalie. Have to be here to win. Vicki Martin. We're going to do it at the very end. We'll probably, what time is it now? We're, 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 it's nine. We'll probably go to 10 o'clock tonight. And Deanna. Okay. Let's see where we're at. 105 with Catherine. Johnny is 110. Catherine is 115. Yvonne is out. Russell is out. So Catherine's at 115. We're waiting on Johnny. Now that I look at this. I don't remember seeing that color. It is. I thought it was red when I when I first looked at it, and then I saw that it was purple, and it's just gorgeous. Ice cream man is driving down our street. Oh, Ooh, go get a chocolate eclair with a candy bar in the middle. One hundred and twenty, Johnny. Yeah. We all know Rosie was chasing the ice cream truck all the time. <laughs> I've been chasing the ice cream truck since I was a little kid. I went through a phase where all I wanted was chocolate eclairs with, with the candy bar in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then I turned to strawberry cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Oh, we, I love we, ice cream. We didn't have those in, out here in the country. <laughs> you can't run. <sighs> Darn it. Mm -hmm. Diane Robbins is at 135. We had a shooter straw, but. My mom and dad went by from the end. 135, Diane. Um, 140, Catherine. Johnny is out. Thanks for what you did do. Get out there and get you an ice cream. Diane's at 145. One forty-five is bid. Catherine, let us know. Diane Robbins is at 145. 150 with Catherine Pace. I love the way they twisted the horn. You know, the, way they, mm -hmm. the way they did this, the way they twisted it. It's cool how it's twisted. 155 with Diane. It is gorgeous. And the I, leaves that are in it. I don't know what they would call this color. It looks plum stretch to me. That's, that's a rosy term. I'm sure it's got another name, but it, it's that deep 
purple that looks like it's plum. 160, Catherine. Diane Robbins is out. We'll do a last chance. Here is our high bid. I like the, the way they cut the bottom of the two and put the leaves down there. We do have white Eperns. We have Spanish lace and we have uh, silver crest. If anybody is interested in a big Epern, we'll, we'll get it out. We won't put it out unless you're interested. No, I can't push my wheelchair that fast. Oh, Johnny, you can. You can roll it, baby. If there's ice cream involved, you can do it. All right. We got some animals and they deserve So who got this? Uh, Catherine Pace. They deserve Thank some you, special Catherine. attention. Beautiful piece. Okay, so this is going to be, we're, I, I'm not going to bunch these animals up because they're all really special. Um, we might do choice on a couple, but this one's going to go singly, and this is number eight. Congratulations. Congratulations. Man, what we do for ice cream, I'm telling you. I have, I, you haven't, Dan, you haven't even seen the darn frog. How do you know? Here it is. I'm going to have John show it to you and describe it to you on the round. Let's see if I can push that up there. Okay, John, go ahead. And Deanne's going to start us at 15. I'll put the music up. I think this might be black marigold or aubergine. I don't know. The preview. Oh, yeah. Darn it. No, we have not busted 100 people yet. And I'm going to keep my mouth very quiet about that. <laughs> so this is the bottom. You can see it. It is a carnival. I don't know what the base color of the carnival is. If I had to guess, I would say it's green. It's aubergine. 45 with Diane has the original cut and sticker under there. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. What is that? What kind of flower? Maybe a gardenia. It's got a little bit of red right there. It's really pretty. Look at that color. Isn't that what you always call liquid? Looks like liquid metal. Yeah. It's just gorgeous in the way. Everywhere you look at it through the light, you have different colors on that. Okay, so Wendy's at 47. We're going to do a last chance. Here is our high bid with Wendy. Hey, Miss Stubbins. How are you tonight? So for newbies in the house, if you were to just get one animal tonight, the shipping is only $3. I ship animals first class in non-crushable boxes. So do not worry about the shipping. Some people charge $10, $15. I charge three. Libby is in at 47. All in, all done. Oh, I think it's saying, take me home, Libby. Take me home. It's really pretty. I love that color. Let's see and make sure everybody is out. Oops, Pamela gets in at 48. 48 with Landrico. Hi, Pamela. I like the frogs. I Thanks, like Debbie. Frogs. It is pretty. Now they made two different, two or three different frogs. I don't know. The molds are so similar with the frogs. One's a little bit bigger, wider in the yeah, face. One's bigger than the other one. All right. And it's going to be sold to Pamela Landrico. Thank you, Pamela. You got that one. All right. Cool. Congratulations, Pamela. That's beautiful. All right. We're going to put the plum dog up. Ooh, the plum dog. So, several years ago, I made an investment in the plum dogs. I bought, how many did I buy of these? 30. 30 plums. 
I bought 30 or 40 plum dogs. I like, thought it was more than that. I was like 30 more. They only made a half a round of these plum dogs, and I bought most of them. What was it? Um, it was for Nancy Grable. Or I, I can't remember the story now. Frank Fenton signed these. These were, these were special order it was for plum Grable. dogs. It was for Grable. Yep. And I bought literally dozens of them. I bought most of them up when they came up for auction. I only have three left. So if you want to get a plum dog, um, hey, number man. What was that for the frog? frog that one was. If you want a plum dog, they are very limited. Um, I I do not have any more. Yeah. And I I literally bought somebody wanted me to put that up tonight. Yeah. So we, we literally bought every one except for I think maybe 10. Yeah. So um these are really hard to find. Frank Fenton has etched these, and these were special order. And are you going to do a reserve on this? Um, yeah, you can let them bed for a while. We'll see where they come up. But I'll, I'll make it a reasonable one. Okay, so we're going to do this with reserve. So what that means is, for those of you that are new, um, we're going to let you bid. If we can accept the bid, then we will say bid accepted and it will sell and we'll start the music. Um, we'll take the we'll take the offers and when we can accept it, we'll say bid accepted. Um, we're going to be very reasonable with the start bid, but you know what Plum Opal goes for. So um, John is here and he will say bid accepted when he can do that. Madison has offered 50. Got several 50s. When he can, when he will accept it, he will tell you. He said he's going to be very reasonable. We want you want to show him the dog. Yeah, I certainly can. This one's got really. They all had excellent color in them. You have a seventy-five dollar offer. Getting there. This one's got eighty. A bit of dirt on it. My fingers off. Getting there. He says you're getting close. There's a lot of 80s. Oh, go ahead. Just take it. All right. He says bid accepted. We're going to sell it. Just go ahead. Somebody really wanted me to put one of these up. And um, this is a request from one of our um, our watchers. So we put it up, and here we go. You know how hard they are, they are to come by. It is going to find a new home. Madison's in at 90. It is going to find a new home. I have several in there. What I kept in my closet. 95 Deanna. They're not easy to come back. So we have a Deanna Campbell and a Deanna Dove. Is that is that true? Yes. That okay. Is true. Okay. 95 with Deanna. 100 with Russ. I love the color on this one. It's got really good color. Yes, if you want one, and I'm sure that we will keep keep one. I have one that is damaged um, that we may put up. It's got a little chip in its tail. But I only have, this is, this, there's three that we have left, two others besides this one. And we'll probably end up keeping a couple. Have you have three in the house? Yeah, we, we bought all of them. All right, 105 with Madison. That's a really good one. This is Plum Opal. This is the um, Playful Pup. And this was a special order done in the Plum Opal. Who would have known at the time that this was made that Plum Opal would become so popular? And it is definitely the color to collect. We have 105 with Madison. De Deanna, I see your 105, but we already have it. We're just a little late, Deanna. Jess is bidding 110. She must have took over for Russ. <laughs> Get out of the way. I don't want that dog. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. 110 with Jessica. Man, I was nervous. We were at 93. I thought I was going to have to give everybody free shipping. Now we're back down to 85. <laughs> I feel better. I feel good. Madison is in at 117. 
He is adorable in plum opal. Plum opal is such a rich color. It almost is a mix between cranberry and amethyst. It's It's got shades of the deep, deep cranberry in there. That's it, what makes the color so rich. They've tried to duplicate this. I know that there's several of them that's tried this. To this day, I think they're still trying to duplicate the color and they can't do it. So Madison's in at 125. Russell, let us know. Madison's in at 125, 130. And I think, I think they have, does, it, does the dog have a little something stamp on them or not? He's got the, he's got Frank Fenton, he's got Frank Fenton etched in the bottom. Yeah, but I don't think these had a, any of these dogs had a little Fenton stamp on them like some of the other animals do. All right, 135, Madison, let us know. Nope, you cannot find them anymore. And I have pretty much, like I said, I've got two more that I know of besides this one. John said he's got a couple. Oh, Anita just jumped in at 135. Yeah, but Russell was there. Russ oh. is at 145. Got to go higher, Anita. 145 with Russell. Yep, Cato got one. She sure did. 147 with Madison. I never thought we were going to see the end of these. I well, had them. Yeah. It's taking a long time. I, I think five years ago. We got at the same time we bought, what's the cat, the, cr the crouching cat? Mm -hmm. We bought a whole bunch of those at the same time. 150 with Russ. They're yeah. good investment, Christine. Oh, yeah. Russell's in at 150. Anita, I saw your 150. Russell was first. Madison, you are out also. So Russ is high. Anita and Madison, let us know. If you're wondering where I'm at tonight, I'm in the Fenton gift shop, the original Fenton gift shop, mm -hmm. the one in the Fenton bathroom. So, so anybody that's in here, have they? Yeah. Do they recognize it? Yeah. How many people said they recognized it? Quite a few. Really? It's a shame. Too bad they couldn't have went somewhere else, or it's just a shame. Okay, Madison is in at one fifty-seven. Russell is out. Um, Anita, let us know. Russell is out. Where are those mice? I don't know. They haven't made an appearance tonight. They were here a couple nights ago. Mm -hmm. And these were real mice. Yeah. Not glass mice. They were chasing each other. Okay, mm -hmm. Anita, let us know if you're in or out. On eBay, they're two hundred dollars plus. Yeah. Well, I wanted to give it to you guys for. Yep. Somebody for asked today, so John said I will bring one out. I'm gonna try to take, you know, one or two of our my pieces out of my collection and put them up for sale every, you know, every so often. All right, Madison's at one fifty-seven. Anita is at one sixty. Don't worry, Sean. I'll bring the mouse out. I was thinking about you, so I put it out. It's a cool one, too. It's a really cool one. Or do you mean the mice that were chasing us yeah. around? <laughs> chasing me around? You didn't even come out. I was, I was calling for you to help me. What was I supposed to do? 165 with Madison? <laughs> Maybe bring a broom? Get, get a little lariat and lariat him. <laughs> oh, there, mouse. Jamie says, I think it was the back room where they had all the lamps. The front room was bigger. I used to spend hours in there wandering through. Yes, I, I am in the back room. Yeah, I'm in the back room. Come on in. Come on. Let's, let's go shopping. Why is somebody crying? Madison is in at 165. Vicki, you're not. You're, you're out at the moment. Madison's in at 165. Anita isn't at 170. Got to quit playing around. John, you're pacing. I'm always pacing. That's me. 
moved. Serena said, John, I was waiting for you to chase them away with a broom. No, 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 no. Mice are just, hey, they're just mice. They're not in the Fenton gift shop tonight, so I'm okay. I have a cat. I have one cat. My cat takes care of all the mice. 172 with mm -hmm. Madison. I just gave her a raise yesterday because she's doing such a good job. She's a good cat. Madison's in at 172. Anita in or out. All right. So Vicky is out. We're just waiting for Anita. Madison's in at 172. Anita in or out. It's pretty hard to keep mice out of your place because they can go through a hole on that day. Vicki is out. Anita, let us know. I don't want to miss your bid. Okay. It is sold, and it's sold to Madison Moulton. Okay, Madison. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anita, for what you did do. Thank you, Ross. Madison, can you get a hold of me via personal messages? Heidi Ann Brown. Here's a good puppy. And that was number nine, and you got the plum pup. Mm -hmm. If not, I'll track you down. Do you want to pick this one? I'm, I'm going to pick it. Let me see here. I got to I gotta figure this out. All right. Some of those those better animals I'm going to group. Okay. But I, I got to take a look at what I got here. Is that blue? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to do the owl. Now, I have two owls. This one's going to go first, and he's a glower. Did you get all the mice? Did you catch him today? No, Eva, we didn't catch him today. He's still out here. So no. this, I don't know why this mouse has like a hole in there. I don't know what that was I've for. Seen, I've never seen one with that I in there. I think that was just the way it came out of the mold, and I've never, ever, never, never seen one like It that. says B. Williams. Um, you need to move in one place. You're fuzzing me up. Let me see. Maybe I need more light. That's better. Nope. I'm, I'm fuzzing You're fuzzing you. me out. How am I fuzzing <laughs> All right. I'm going to put it over here so John can show you. And it glows. I'm, I'm going to take this off. So I just love the way this is painted. So this is number 10. And if you see it, it's hand painted. By B. Williams. We don't get owls very often. We really, really this, don't. This is really, there's a lot of glass here. This is very heavy. Yes. we And really, I was going to take this to um, here on our Marietta, but he said, get the owls out. So there it is. <clears throat> and it's a glow getter. Yes. Glows like crazy. All right. $20. This one has a name and I can't remember what it is. Autumn Feathers or something. It's hand painted by B. Williams. You don't see them very often. You, you, you really don't. $50, Landrico. Sixty-five, Diane Roberts. Closer, please. Linda saying, closer, please. Serena says she has owls in her backyard hooting all night long. I remember Serena telling me that. So Diane Robbins is at sixty-five. Diane Robbins is at 65. You know, that little, I was thinking about putting a tea light in that bottom. I don't know, I don't no, know what that bottom it. is. It's just the way it came out in the morning. That's all it is. 65 with Diane Robbins. There it is. It glows like crazy. Every time I do that. It? It's looking up in the air. It looks like the owl's following the light. Look at his eyes. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. All right, 65 is bid. We're gonna do a last chance. And I'm gonna go up. If you're looking for one of these, now's the time. They're only gonna get more expensive. Okay, Madison, I see ya. All right, thank you for contacting me, Madison. 65 with Diane Robbins. I like the colors that are used, all the different colors. Uh-oh, Yvonne comes in at 68. We got a mouse that we're going to put up too that is unadvertised, and we have some ducks that are unadvertised. So um, we got look, quite a bit to go. Look at it. It even comes. With, I'll even send you that that little ladybug that just. Man, that is the there. most realistic painting. Look at that ladybug that they painted on there. Wow. Diane Robbins is at seventy. <laughs> he doesn't want to leave it. Come here, buddy. Diane Robbins is at 70. Yvonne, let us know if you're in or out. I'm going to add some more names to the wheel. Uh, Catherine Pace, you got to be here to win, and it's a big prize today. Mondrico, Madison. Okay. So 70 with Diane. And. Uh, Thank you, Deanna McDove. I'm not sure I'm going to sell my plum setting cat, Anita. Yvonne, let us know if you're in or out. It's cute, but you're out. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and sell it to Diane Robbins for $70. I think the last plum setting cat I saw sell sold for like $900. Okay. I got um, a big piece here I want to get out of the way. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Ooh, that's different. I've never seen this piece. I nope. The the kitty's coming. We got two cats. I'm taking my time with these animals because they're really special animals tonight. So it may take us a little longer than normal, but we'll try to get out of here by 10, 10, 10, 10 30. Um, I like to do smaller shows. I I've changed my way of doing things in the last year. I used to do 30 at a crack. I like to do 10 to 15 now. <laughs> I think we have a little more than that tonight. I'm going to go ahead and put a number on this. Yeah, we do have more than that. We're already on 11. All right. Yeah, the kitties are coming up. Okay, he's he's. I'm going to show you the bowl. Of course, if you saw the preview, you saw it, but um, it's really pretty. I didn't know it was Fenton at first glance. So remember, we do have a 10 at 10 in the morning, and tomorrow morning is going to be one of these sales that I'm going to grab anything to put in the sale. <laughs> so it's Fenton Friday. It's got to be Fenton. So if you're around in the morning at 10 o'clock. All right. So this is from... The museum collection, 2003. It's got the um, sticker there. It is beautiful pl uh, plum overlay. And it's just a gorgeous shape to this bowl. This is number 11. It's just beautiful. So this is 10 inches across. I'm gonna show you one more time on this one and then i'll go ahead and put it on the round it's beautiful ivory on the outside plum overlay on the inside um it's just a beautiful bowl hi dj i'm sorry i didn't get back with you dj i forgot don't worry about it okay so this is going to be number 11 i'll have john show it to you on the round there wow look at that you may have to move it back a little and this is number 11. It is beautiful. Start me out. It's here to sell. Flower isn't at 15, and here we go. So this is unusual. 
So this is 203, the museum collection, which I don't think I ever saw this piece. I, don't, I we, don't remember seeing it. I don't think we've ever sold it. $20 is bid, 11 inches across, beautiful plum overlay. I love the color. I love the color. I love the crimping. It's just gorgeous how it's just sporadic and just, it's, it's, it's really a wonderful piece. And you're going to be hard pressed to find one like it. It's, it's made so that it, it silks. See how it's kind of, kind of close up. So, oh, actually, I'm sorry. My screen moved. Kathy G is our first 30. Well, that's what I'm doing, DJ. I'm doing, I'm trying to do yard work in between everything else. It's a very different color, though. Kathy G is in at 30. Serena, I see you're 30, but now we have Christine at 35. Could be the deal of the day. $40 with Serena. All deals are good here. Well, Serena is in at is. 40. Just... Kathy, let me know. And I don't know who 35 is, B35. I know, the rain is constant. And it's cold rain. It's really cold rain. Don't worry, it's warm enough this next week. I don't know who B45 is. Can somebody tell me who that is? I have no idea who that is. Make sure you write your name in there. Is it Kathy G? See. No, no, it isn't. Deborah V. Okay, Deborah V. Deborah, put Deborah V when you bid so that we know because it I, it's really hard for me to distinguish. But you were the first forty-five, Deborah. Christine Smith is at forty-eight. She's at seventy-two in Jersey. Wow. <sighs> I don't think it got. It might have got up to sixty today, did it? No. Never got up to sixty. Uh uh. It was freezing. Fifty five well, is the highest. I was cutting those, that big cherry tree, and I, I was pretty warm. The thing was about sixteen foot, about three foot three. Yes, every every um ad that I do has a Streamyard link within the description. You just click that, and what it does, it gives my my clerking software permission to see you from Facebook. That's all it does. Um, otherwise, I can't. I can't see you if you haven't registered. It it literally takes thirty seconds. You have to do it once every three or four months. Once you do it, you're good. You're good to go for several months. Um, let's see here. Now I'm getting confused. Wendy says I seen fifty eight. I don't see fifty eight. I see fifty six. Christine Smith is at fifty six. I use StreamYard to bring everything together because it's just so much easier for me. And I have to tell you, and I'll explain this really quick here while we get some newbies in. With StreamYard, it's it's a software for clerking, and I can see everything on one console, and I can collect bids from everywhere. I don't have to type so much anymore. I'm having really hard problems with my hands because of keyboarding and i don't have to do that with Streamyard. i just highlight and go highlight and go so it's much easier for me um and really it it's not a big deal to go in there and just give them permission for me to see you um and it really it just asks facebook permission so that i can see you when i'm when i'm clerking Deborah wants to know she says where's the stream yard link it's in the description of every sale that we do so you'll see the, the sale ad come up and they'll if you open the description and read about the sale, it'll it'll have the StreamYard link in it. All right, everybody is out. I'm gonna do a last chance. It's so much easier for me to clerk this way. I I wish I could I wish I could bring you all in and show you. All right, 56 is bid with Christine. 
remember before I was going high bid and putting the number in and here we go and put in clicking away. It, this is a lot easier for me. Okay, so this is number 11. And this is the plum overlay. Yeah, I just don't see 58. Okay, Denise is at 58. Denise is at 58. Oh, Wendy said 58 is high temperature tomorrow. Oh, well, now I see 58 with Denise. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, what? A battery. I want to something. On the phone or, or this? I don't know. It, it says I'm plugged in. I don't want this turned on. Either. You have to. You got lights coming through it. No, you just turned everything off. Okay, why is my battery running low? Well? Which one is is running well? This is. What is that? Hang on, guys. We're having issues. Okay. It's not. It's all right. Oh, I can see. Hang on. It's, it's all right now. Okay, let's charge. Okay. Christine, 60. I can see you now, Deborah. I can see you now. Yeah, see how easy that was? <laughs> it's a good thing. Good thing it wasn't going to be 72 there tomorrow, Wendy, because then she'd get really excited thinking we had a $72 bid. <laughs> Denise, let us know. Christine's at 60. We're just waiting for Denise. I, I uh, didn't see her bid at first, but then I caught it. Okay. So it's sold to Christine Smith. Let's see where we got that from. 60. Okay. okay. You got the sticker on there? I do. All Thank right. Thank you, Christine. Look at that pretty darn. That's really pretty. Okay, I think I'll, I'll put choice of these two animals. So I'm going to show you these two animals, and it will be choice. And this is going to be number 12. Put, no, put them over here. Okay. They can't right. go where I can't see them or find them. Yeah. That would be problems. I just put, we can, we can put it back up there. Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you these. Um, uh, this is the little kitty. This is the little kitty um, from the preview. This is called Dreams and Roses or Rainbows. It's exclusive B. Cumberledge, Dreams and Rainbows, and it is a Tom Fenton signed piece. I, this is going to look better on the round. I'm going to have John uh, show that to you over here. That's the first one. And then the second one is this elephant, and this is going to look better on the round too. And this is those who love the lord shine as the sun and i'll let john show them to you and i'll get us started oh there the cats really iridized okay so we're going to sell at least one these are both really special animals the cat i've never seen with the rainbow i like the cat you want to show them one at a time there so this is what's on the bottom. Look at the flowers on the bottom of the rainbow. They should have a pot of gold. I like the way it's iridized. There's just different colors coming off of it everywhere. And then when you get to the rainbow, which is coming out of the clouds, which looks like a waterfall rainbow. They want to see it closer. Come in. That's good. Joel is our first 35. What's it called? Rainbows and. It's called Dreams and Rainbows. Dreams and Rainbows. So um, I've never seen this piece. I sold an awful lot of Fenton. I've never seen the cat with the rainbow. The elephant has a little saying on it. So is that a sunshine? And then there's bees. And it says 
those be those who love the Lord, shine as the sun. Well, try it again. <laughs> These who love the Lord shine as the sun. There you go. What? And the elephant is um, it's it's a paint. It's what do they call it? Airbrushed. It's airbrushed with some green, and and you see a little bit of green, and it has this ombre effect with the blue. Mm -hmm. It's cool. I'm not I'm not seeing either one of those. Okay, we got everybody in at 42. Joel was first. 50 with Anita. We're going to try to finish all our pieces tonight. So um, we may be here another hour. Anita is at 50. Wendy's out. Joel's at 55. Natalie's out. Thrift and Lori's out. We'll decide whether we're going to sell one or two. When we do choice, we always do that. We'll, we'll be up for one at least. Joel's at 55. Where is Crazy Cat Lady? I have another one. we got to get Tammy Vandermeulen in here. Cat Lady's not here. Yeah. Where's Cat Lady? I don't know. Do you have any horses, Rosie? Madison, I have a horse. Um, I have a horse at home. So I have a horse maybe in the morning. Good. Well, not good that your budget's small, crazy cat lady, but it's good that you're here because I wouldn't want you to miss it if you wanted it bad enough. So, Tammy, you don't have to buy to be here. We just love seeing you here. Joel's at 65. I've not seen that, that kitty. I've never seen the cat. I'm no. sure that they, you know, they made a few of them, but we just never did have them. These are actually Wesley's Wesley's animals. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to take them to um, Marietta, but uh, John says find some animals today. So, sixty-five with Joel. That's okay. You got a large cat collection. How many Fenton cats do you have now? Crazy cat lady, I'll bet you you got dozens. Joel's at 65. Mary Hale, I see what's 65, but Joel went first. I always collect the highest bid and put it on the screen. Eva, you're out also. Bitter will get choice. We may not pass. Anita's at 68. Another thing, we didn't, you don't see pandas very often, like we had the panda bell earlier. You don't see too many items with rainbows on them. <laughs> Maybe a couple dozen, most from you. I bet you have more than a couple dozen. Joel's at 70. Anita and Mary, you're both out at the moment. Joel is at $70 for choice. Seventy-two with Anita. Uh, there's no plugins. Anita's at seventy-two. Seventy-five with Joel. My you want them all up? Mm -hmm. I'll wait for you. No, go ahead. I'll, I'll be right back. I'll wait for you. Joel is at 75. He brought some ducks in there unadvertised. He brought some ducks and a mouse. There's a sparrow hopping on the window outside trying to get in. He got in last night and John caught him. And he wants in here again tonight. I think he fell in love with John. He's just sitting at the window. And usually you don't see birds this late at night. It's dark out. Haley, uh, Mary, Mary, Mary Hale is out. Anita's at 77. Joel is at 80. This is number 12. He's just sitting there waiting. 
hope John sees them there. He'll be in here again. Aidy at Joel. Anita, let me know if you're in or out. We'll do a last chance. Anita is in at 83. Waiting on Joel. Can you hear him? He's talking. <whistles> 90 with Joel. Can you hear that little bird? He's supposed to be sleeping. John went in the house to get his battery charger. Hopefully he's bringing me out some chocolate. I don't think he is. Joel is in at 90. Anita, let us know. Hear that bird? What's he doing up? He's just staring at me. Okay. All right. Thanks, Anita, for what you did do. And it is go going to be sold to Joel. So, Joel, you let me know which ones you want. The elephant or the cat. Joel is the winner. The choice is yours. We're waiting for Joel, and Anita will be the backup. Okay, going to take them both. Can you hear that bird? John, he's out there. Bring him in and show everybody. You got a buddy. All right. He may be taking him away so it gets away from the door. Thank you, Joel. Well, John got him because he was he wants to look inside. Last night he came inside and we caught him and he, we had to put him back out. Show everybody. Now this is not this is not you can show him here. This is not a glass bird. No, we don't need to allow it. I'm scared. He's very scared. He's very scared. She decided to make her nest over the top of the door. So when I go outside, she gets all flustered. She's a really good bird. She knows me, I think. Well, that's cool, Joel. I don't know why that bird wants in here every time every time we come out here. He goes to bed at 7 30. I know. He shouldn't be awake right now. I can't believe he's John is putting up his ducks. These are his collection. I don't know why. Are you sure? Chris wanted a duck. So are you gonna have these for a set price or are you gonna put them up there and I'm good enough as long as I take it. Okay, so this is going to be with reserve. These are all hand painted and, by J.K. Spindler, every one of them. And they're, this one's three of 21. Okay, you're going to have to show them one at a time slowly. Okay. And Okay, I'll do the Drake first. It's three of tw 21. And you can see J.K. Spindler. It was done in 216, 2016. So that has got the orange breast. I'm freezing. All right, and let's see yeah, what the other a, ones. That's a green head. That's a green head. Okay. This one is 15 of 20. It's a wood duck. And it's J.K. Spindler. She did this in 2016, too. And this one matches the male. This is a mallard hen, and it was done in 2016 also by J.K. Spindler, and it's 3 of 21. Okay, so this is actually make an offer. 
So if he's he's going to have a very a very good reserve on them, it's a reasonable reserve. How do you know? How do I know? I don't know. These are incredible. Yvonne has offered twenty five. And they have this finish on them that is like a satin finish. They're really different. because And they're, they're so realistic. 40? Nope. Got to go higher. Thanks for the offer. 60. Yeah. 100. Yeah. All right. Bid accepted at 100. Here we go. You'll get your choice. You need to show them the ducks. Don't worry about your phone. You got ducks, you got phones and birds on your mind. This is this is a piece. This is for choice. 100 dollars is big. I'm shocked that he's selling him too. I can't believe he is. So I think these are some of the better ones that they painted. I just like that. They're very realistic. I see ducks in the marsh all the time. She did a very good job of painting. They are very now which one they're this, this one is how one of how many? This is a mallard. They're all, all of them are three of 21. Three of 21. Right. So they're kind of a set. This this one goes with this one. See how they have the same? Yep. But this is a female. This is a male. And this is a wood duck. And I believe this is a female wood duck. I probably have the wood duck inside the male, which is very colorful, and I kept that one. But... I've had them for a while. Okay, so Serena's since in 20, at 125. Since 2016. Hard to believe I've had them for six years. Okay. Christine's in at 130. Really pretty. I'm going to miss your dog. Don't cry now. <laughs> Christine's at 130. Serena, let us know if you're in or out. He did bring me chocolate. Did you hear me say that on the phone? I said, mm -hmm. I hope he brings you some chocolate. You? How could I possibly hear you when the phone's in here? Just waiting for Serena, 135. Now we're waiting for Christine. I've just always liked the, like the ducks like that, the wild ones when they're doing like that. 135 with Serena, waiting for Christine. We have the creeks that run through the marsh, and the wood ducks come in like crazy. They make a really funky noise. And I watch them a lot of times down there. They, they bob their heads back and forth like this, but they're just gorgeous. Color and just gorgeous. Man, can they fly too? Wow, they're fast. Just waiting for Serena. So Christine's at 138, waiting for Serena. This is for choice. I took I took the bird and put it back in her nest. She's got eggs in her nest. <sighs> what is wrong with her? She doesn't like being disturbed. Is that what she's doing? She's bitching at us? Yes. What would you do if somebody came into your home during the night? woke you up and started doing a sale. <laughs> she was just, I mean, she was just a chirping at that window. Like, so she was saying, my babies are trying to hatch. Would you please turn off the light? I'm not sure that's what she was saying. Who knows? 140 Serena, Christine, let us know. This place is like a, today I went out there and there was three rabbits chasing each other around in the yard. 142, Christine, Serena.
it's really cool. I can't explain the finish on this. It's a matte finish, but it has a sheen to it. It it really gives them a realistic look. 142, Christine, waiting on Serena. You're not going to find them. No, do, we won't get them again. It would be very hard to find them. 142 with Christine. We're waiting for Serena. 145. I think my favorite one is Miss Drake. But I like the female. The I actually like this Yeah, one. the female. I like the way she did it. Christine, your turn. In or out? That's just what they look like, too. We still have active bidding. Do you see that? That finish? I don't know what that is. I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. But it, it is. It's very glossy. It's a, it's a no. I was going to say it's more flat. Well, it is flat, but yet it's got a. It's got some it. kind of gold to it. But look how she did the eyes. She's got, she got the eyes. Perfect. And of course, J.K. Splendler is still an active artist. Oh, okay, gosh. Christine Smith is at 48. We still have active bidding 150 with Serena. I think. You know, they did those. They did different ones in different years. Vicki Martin, we see you at 150, but Serena is high at 150. Okay, Christine is out. Serena's at 150. Vicki Martin, let us know. Serena is in at 150. Vicki, let us know. I'll do a last chance one more time. I wish I could do the noise with the with We don't have any noise. lights. Hey, now it looks different. <laughs> How come you didn't notice that? When we were fooling with the computer, we turned them off. You got that mouse in your pocket. No, but I'm going to eat that chocolate. But I think you keep saying we. Vicki Martin, let us know. You popped in for the last minute there, and I, I see your bid, but Serena was first. So let us know. You'll be the backup bidder at the moment is Christine. I don't want to I don't want to say sold without Vicki Martin saying something because I don't want to miss her bid. So Vicki, just let us know. So get little, your choice. She's probably got a little bit of a lag. The green hen, or the green head, the gold bird, or the, the gray bird. Since he's still in his dog's hiding, what do you collect? I collect everything. I collect tons of stuff. Heidi has a lot of things. Right? Oh, he's right. No, DJ, you are so right. I collect dust. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? Vicki Martin's at 151. I just, you know, I don't want to, I don't need to collect anything. I like to get it, enjoy it, sell it. And that's what's fun to me. That's what's fun to me. I, I really don't collect anything. You have a lot. She is not telling the truth. She has a ton of things and it's all over. It doesn't mean I collect it. I'm yeah, just holding it for the Let right me, time to oh, sell I'll it. Let me go take it. Let me go just take a piece. Please. Yeah, okay, I will. I'll go take like four or five of those. I wish you'd take pieces. some of the Roseville I have. How about the special pieces of Dave's? They're one of a kind that you have. Not attached to them. They're beautiful. I know, but I, I don't. I mean, if you showed them, people wouldn't even think they were Dave Betty's. Yeah, she's fibbing, John. No, I really don't have a, a, I don't have that desire to collect. Okay, everybody's out. Serena's out. Vicki Martin's at 156. I, well, I collect everything everywhere, but I don't really keep it with the intention of collecting it. I keep it with eventually selling it. <laughs> John has told me now I'll never live long enough to sell it, but that's not going to stop me from 
collecting it. <laughs> All right, Vicki. Which ones would you like? I'm going to put your name on them. We're not going to do that. I'm getting tired. We got, we're going to put on what, what we previewed and we still have a lot. Okay. Vicki, let us know which one you want. The green head, the yellow one, or the gray one. And I'll put your name on it. This one and this one go together, Vicki. And this is a female. The female wood dog. So let us know, Vicki. And our backup bidder is going to be Serena. I actually, if I were to say I was collecting one thing, I, I, I am attached to Florence Ceramics. I have two Florence Ceramics in here I can't sell. So I guess that means I'm collecting. What about the horses? Vicki Martin, let us know. <clears throat> Serena is in the wings waiting. So let us know which ones you would like. If you'd like the pair or the single one or whatever you want, it's your choice. And I'll put your name on the bottom so we know for sure we got the right one. So Vicki Martin, let us know. The backup would be, let me let me look and see. Vicki Martin was at 156, so it's 155, the first 155. Oh, Christine, you are the backup, indeed. You were the first 155. No, I was looking at this one. Sorry. John, what do you think? You just want one, Vicki? No, oh, it's totally up to you. Like I said, these two go together. This is a female wood dog. She likes the green head. Okay. Yeah. This is a mallard. So you took the male one. This is a mallard. Okay. Is that all, Vicki? Because we're going to offer it to Christine, and then we'll offer it to Serena. All right. I think you're good to go, Christine. Unless Vicky says something, but she said she just wanted the one. So Christine, did you want one? And Vicky, are you done for sure? You guys want to know the truth? That's exactly what I paid for them in 2016. Okay, Christine's going to take both. That's exactly what I paid for. Them. And this is 13. Uh oh, guess who's mad? I know she's back. Okay, Christine gets them both. Here you go. Okay, Christine, go. Yep. All right, man, we are going to have to move. We're not going to get done with this stuff. We put too much up here. We were too well, you just excited. Have to, you just have to go along. Uh, too old to go too long. I get too tired. I have a sale at 10 in the morning. Oh, geez. All right. So the next up is this beautiful owl. Now, this one is a 206 gift shop limited edition, 48 of 50. And I'll let John show you the mouse. Oh, I think the owl is so cool. You're going to get choice. Now, you're going to have make an offer on these two? Yeah. Look at the owl. Look at the Oh my gosh, this is in the cutest little mouth. Okay, so these are make an offer. And if we can accept it, we definitely will. Uh, $20 is bid. Go ahead and show them the mouth. I didn't tell them anything about the mouse. So the mouse is Kim Barley, 2019, 16 of 18. And it's got a little bee in it, it says hello. Just cute. Got a little star on its head. Does he glow? No. I don't think so. No. This one does. This one will. 
So the owl. Vicky, you said you wanted one. So the owl is. Fifty. Yeah, Vicky Martin says she wants the pair now. Well. Got to think about it. I don't know what's fair to do in that case. Um. Okay. The owl is October two oh six. Becca or bitter should get choice, and then she says she was dealing with the lag. So, okay. Well, if you're going to do that, then ask Christine if she wants the one. Are you okay with the one, Christine? Which would be the which would be the um. The let, let's stop for a second. It would be the wood duck. Okay, would we're be. we're going to stop for just a second. Vicki Martin was the bidder. She wanted to take two. She said she had said one, but then she changed her mind and there was a lag. I didn't give her enough time. So, Christine, are you okay with the one that you have? Show show the one that Christine has, which, which is the wood duck. It's this one. It's this one, Christine. Are you okay with the one, Christine? She probably did, but... She probably did, but she was the she was the bidder. If at, at a real auction, it would be over and done. I don't know how to handle it really. Um, but I have to account for a lag. Yep. I'll I'll make it up to you, Christine. I promise. Yes. So that's the wood duck female. Okay, what do we got for bids for these? Guys? I'm going to go up and see if Vicki said she just wanted one. I like the green head. Okay, so I'm going up to see what Vicki said. She said, I like the green head. She didn't say she was just going to take one. Um, so, yeah, if you look up Christine, th to, that's how I'm going to have to handle it this time. She didn't say, no, I didn't wait long enough. She said the green head, and I said, did you want them both? And she said two. Yeah, we're all we're all set. Okay. All right, here we go. This one is going to be fifty-five. Nope, we got to go higher on this one. So the mouse is sixteen of eighteen. Kim Barley, twenty nineteen, and. This is the coolest. Look at this. How they did the feathers down here. It's really cool. And that's October 206. This was, I guess. 60. This was a limited edition. 75. Can you read that? Limited edition 48 of 50. So there's not very many of them. 75. Those. Yeah, go ahead. All right, bid accepted. Christine Smith gets free shipping for being a good sport tonight. And Chris, Christine Smith is going to get a bath and body bag. I feel bad. So, Christine Smith, I'm going to give you one of the prizes tonight, okay? Because um, I goofed up. That was my fault. So, you're going to get one of these. And uh, there's a make sure I get a, one for her. There's two of them out there. Just put one on here for Christine. Just put it yeah. On. Okay. I'll put her name on it. I always feel so bad when that happens. That's what happens with the leg. All right. All right. 75 bid accepted. Sorry about that. I hope everybody knows what I'm talking about. I'm a little scattered here for a second. Here we go. We have 75 for choice and we're going to take it. Yep. We got it fixed now. Eighty. Um, we need to go get another one of those before I forget. Put a new one. Where they are. That's a wonderful gift card. I didn't even know it had these. You know what? I didn't even know I had these. 
You can make some snippets. They're really nice. Two eggs leather. Eighty-five with Joel. Okay. Let's see where we're at. Please show the round. Can you see them, Deborah? 85 is big. Uh, Jen, they want to see them closer up. Oh, you're looking at me. <laughs> All right, Joel is in at 85. Mary, let us know. 85 is bid. We'll sell at least one when we do choice. Look at that. And the, the owl glows. He's a glow getter. You're welcome. I didn't realize I had it on. I'm too worried about Christine. <laughs> She's my oldest friend. From the top hatter days, 90 with Mary Hale. Okay. Mary Hale, is, well, what, what do you want to do? One or two? So it's okay to pass? 90. 95. Okay. Joel's at 95. Mary, let us know. They are both so cute. Joel is at 95, waiting for Mary. Get your choice of either one. Okay, and Mary is out. Joel's at 95. All in, all done. This one is number 14. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and sell it. That goes to Joel. So let us know if you want the mouse or the owl. A lot of detail on both of them. They're, and they're both very, very limited pieces. So Joel, you're the winner. Mary Hale is the backup. So let us know the mouse, the happy mouse or the owl. Both. Okay. The owl and the mouse. Thanks, Joel. All right. Okay. Let's see what we got. Thank you. We are getting down. I have this big blue bowl. And I have the box to this one. So this is the next one. This is number 15. Oh, you can't see it. There it is. I have to get in front of it. It's the daisy and button bowl. I'll, br I'll bring it over here so I can show you. This one is number 15. I'm going to call it Daisy and Button Bowl. I don't know what it is. But here we go, and I'll show it to you. This is like a council bowl. It's very big. 
here's the design and I have the original box for it. It's in a uh, like a blue opal color, but it's very deep. So I don't know if this has its own color name. Um, but across, it is 13 inches, so it's very large. Natalie is going to start us at 35. There it is. What? I'm worried about Christine. I haven't seen her. Let me see it. I think you're going to have to PM her because I can't find her. Forty-eight with D. N. Campbell. Look at this. Dean Campbell is in at 48. Debbie, Natalie, you guys are all out. Debbie is in at 49. We're looking for Christine. And Debbie, Deanne is out. So Natalie is in at 50. Debbie, let me know if you're in or out. Just send her a picture of it. Now we're waiting for Debbie. You're waiting for Debbie. It is 13 inches. $50 is bid. Deanne is out. Debbie, are you in or out? All right. And that is sold to Natalie Wagner on Facebook. Natalie. Okay. Um, did you have my email, Natalie? I gave it to you earlier. Do you need to see it again? I'll put it up here for you. Just send me an email. Say hello if you haven't already. I see you won something earlier. I'm going to call this a console bowl. I have the original box for that too, so you'll be happy with that one. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. If there is something that you guys wanted to see that you haven't seen yet, let me know. Okay. Look at this one. Okay, so this is going to be number 16. Cobalt vase. All right. Thanks. Thank you, Natalie. You sent it through Messenger. Let me put a note here. Okay. We sold the fairy lamp already. That was that was first thing. All right. This is number 16. So this is hand painted by K Bright. Great bill. And it is George Fenton signed and it's from the it is from the landmark collection. And it is from 1905 uh, landmark collection 1905 to 2005. So it's from 2005. I'm going to show you the the up close flowers on it. it is in cobalt blue. 
No, the little tur turquoise bowl, I have not. We, we'll put that up. And Eva's going to start us out at 50. Here we go. Um, I didn't pull any lamps for this sale, but I can try to pull it out for next week. We'll have a, a Fenton sale next week, too. And we, we have one tomorrow morning. I don't know if I have any Fenton lamps for tomorrow morning. I could. Fifty two is bid. This is number sixteen. Remember, we're giving away the bath and body at the end. I don't know how much we'll get done. We're getting pretty close to the end now. Fifty two with Eva. I'm gonna I'm gonna clear the I'm gonna add some names to the wheel. Diane Robbins. Christine. All right. Debbie's in at 55. Debbie was our first 55. Mary, I see you, but Debbie beat you. Everybody wants to be 55, but uh, Debbie Voigt was first. Joel is at 60. Did you get hold of her? Joel's at 60. Debbie is out. Mary's out at the moment. Joel is our first 60. There is golden trim along here and along here, and all of these gardenias have gold trim in them. Okay, um, Mary Hale's at 65. All right, Debbie is out. Joel, let us know if you're in or out. Mary Hale is at 65. Thank you for the subscribers out there. Wow, we got to jump in subscriptions today. Joel is at 70. If you're watching and you'd like to subscribe to the YouTube channel, gosh, we would sure appreciate it. Joel is at 70. Well, we're glad to be here. Joel is at 70. Mary Hale, let us know. Yeah, we need more thumbs up. We do. We definitely do. It's how our channel grows. And, and uh, uh, when you subscribe, click the little bell so that you know when I come on. You'll get your notifications and you can watch us on the big screen. Mary is at 70. Yep. So we'll put the turquoise bowl up. Is there any other request? Did we miss anything that somebody's been waiting for? Seventy-two with Mary Hale. Joel, let us know if you're in or out. Joel's at seventy-five. Well, great, Debbie. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Joel is at 75. Mary Hale, let us know. Okay. Um, I, you know, 
Yep, there was a basket. Did you want me to put up that basket? Somebody asked if there was a basket, and I didn't think there was, but there is one here. I'll put up the basket. And somebody wanted the turquoise bowl. Okay. Because if I advertised it, I definitely want to put it up if you came waiting for it. Mary Hale is at 77. I normally don't do previews, but we had some pretty good uh, Fenton tonight, so I decided to do a preview. Um, but it's important when you do previews that you make sure you, you sell every as much as, it, as you can. If somebody's waiting for it, we will definitely put it up. So we do have a little basket, and we'll do the turquoise bowl. 77 with Mary Hale. Joel, let us know if you're in or out. Do you have any tulip shapes? I don't think so. Well, thank you, Debbie. So Mary Hale's at 77, and we're waiting for Joel. And Joel is out. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and sell it. And Mary, that's your first win. Stick around, because we're going to give away that prize at the end. H-I-H-A-I-L-E Ford. Okay. I'm going to contact you through Messenger for your invoice, Mary, and you are the winner of this one. And this is going to be number 17 or 16. I got 17 down. What did I sell last, John? Because I think I'm missing a number. That big piece. Oh, the big piece over there. Okay, let me make sure. 15. Okay, so this is 16. Okay, Mary, so just, you'll watch from my message. Okay. Great deal, and thank you very much. All right. So somebody was waiting for the basket, so I'll put the basket up. This one needs a this one needs a wash. It's a beautiful melon basket. And it's it's got some I'm going to have to wash the inside of it. I didn't see it was so dirty. This is a J Burkhart. And it is such a cute little basket with a with the, with the aqua crest crest and handle. Let me put it over here. I don't know why I'm losing my screen here. I, my coloring is looking red. I don't know what's going on. Look at how red my face is. What's going on here? What's going on? <laughs> Let me see if I can fix that. I don't know. I look like I'm having a hot flash, but I'm not. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yes. All right, so this is number 17. And Debbie's going to start us off at 25, and here we go. That really red looks. I know. We'll put the turquoise bowl up too, and then we'll do the we'll do the draw. You look like Lucille Ball. I probably had a signal thing that was screwing up. Eight inches tall. I'll take the custard pieces and the, the um, tall cat and the violets in the snow. I'll take some of this that we didn't get to and put it at the 10 at 10 tomorrow morning. It'll spruce up my stay a little bit. That's what I'll do. So if you saw something in the preview tonight, like the little purple picture and the violets in the snow, candlesticks and the tall cat, I'm going to take them over to the other house for the morning. Debbie Voigt is at 37. I like the shape and style of this piece, and I like it that it's got the aqua crust on the 
on the handle too. That's really cool. Gina Phillips is it? Oh, no, nope. Gina, we're going the other way. Debbie's at 37. Candy Sharp is at 38. So our shipping policy is $7 a night for all the newbies. And then if you show up tomorrow morning and you buy something tomorrow morning or at the jewelry sale tomorrow night, it's only going to be a couple more dollars for that whole entire sale. So you could go in tomorrow morning. You could buy something tonight for $7. You could go tomorrow morning and buy the whole sale, and I would only charge you 4 or $5 if you bought everything. If you just bought one thing, I'd only charge you a couple bucks more. Forty-five with Kathy G. So I'm going to add a few more names to the wheel for our gift set. Eva. Eva's in at fifty. How come that basket feels like it's moving around on there? I don't know. 50 with Eva. Deanne is out. Kathy G, let us know. And Natalie Wagner, let us know. Debbie, Debbie is out. Natalie and Kathy is who we're waiting for. We'll do a last chance. This is moving. <laughs> I'm going to watch it move. <laughs> Kathy G's at 51. It's really pretty. Doesn't it look like it's moving? Kathy's at 51. Natalie's at 55. I keep moving. <laughs> it's unexplained. It's it's a haunted basket. Sixty dollars with Eva. It looks like it's gonna fall right off of there. I love the shape of it. It's like it's a melon shaped bottom. Okay, Kathy's out. Natalie's out. The doily is causing it to move. I know. I, the ghost of Mr. Chicken? <laughs> okay, so this one is 17. Okay, Eva, so I'm going to put you on the wheel for, for the drawing. So hang on. We got one more item. And we're going to put up this little turquoise bowl. You got it, Eva. And, and Eva, um, if you want to send me a hello and email, I know I have your information, but if you want to do that, you can go ahead and do that. And it, it it's if it's easier for you, doesn't matter. Um, there you go. Okay, man, I didn't keep it up there very long, did I? Okay, we got the turquoise bowl. This matches the candlesticks we had on earlier. This is from the 60s, maybe even the 50s. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is going to be number 18. Don Knotts movie. I remember that movie. Okay, so start us out. And we will do the draw after this one. The, the things that we did not say. Okay. All right, 35. Here we go. Let me put that. Music on. Uh, 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 uh. 
Kathy G's at 35. Deanne, stick around. You might win. Right after this, we're gonna we're gonna draw Deanne. You might win. It's a pretty good prize. You don't want to go anywhere. It's the leather bag, bath and body full of aromatherapy. You don't want to go anywhere. This is the last item. Just we'll, we'll sell it quick. You gotta be here to win it. It's just it's just the winners, so there's not that many of you. You got a good chance of winning, and it's a it's a pretty decent prize. It's got a retail value of probably 30 bucks. 45 with Vicky Martin. And it's aromatherapy. Oh my gosh, I love aromatherapy. I didn't know I had these. I'm gonna have to keep one of these for myself. I'm gonna have to collect one of these. <laughs> Kathy G's at 50. Tomorrow we it tomorrow we have 10 at 10s every weekday morning, and tomorrow our theme is Fenton Friday. So it's 10 at 10. Um, and it's not going to be shown here. Yeah, it will be shown here. And it will be shown here on this Facebook um, page. When we do general collections, it's not. But tomorrow is Fenton, so it'll be on this page here tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Vicki Martin is at 52. Looks like everybody else is out. Okay. If you're there, Madison, I'll consider it. I don't know. It just it depends what kind of crowd we have. I, I usually have it figured out. A few lots in if I can put some of the other stuff in. We'll we'll give it a shot. It's early in the morning, so it just depends who's there. Oh, it'll it'll be here on the YouTube channel, Natalie. You'll see it on the YouTube channel. If you're watching me on YouTube, it, it should come up in my notifications. It's t it's ten in the morning, and, it, and it's best to watch it on YouTube because you'll see every, you'll see every one. You'll see the jewelry sale tomorrow. So here is what we're um, giving away to the winners. We're going to draw right now. It's a leather bag, and it has the eucalyptus hand soap in there. It's aromatherapy and the candle with the yelp with the um, leather bag. That's what we are giving away. Okay, so let me update the wheel. I think I have to put, no, I think everybody's on there. Okay, so let me share the screen. Welcome, Natalie. I'm so glad you found us. You have to be here to win now, okay? Let me see if we can see it. These are our winners. Okay, these are these are winners, so we're going to spin for that lovely prize. You have to be here to win. If you're not here, we'll spin again. You've got to claim it. Vicki Martin. you got to claim it. I know you're here, Vicki. You just won the last item. It is a nice prize. I didn't even know I had these. Vicki Martin, you got to be here. You got to claim it. I know she's here. She just won that bowl. We'll give her just a second. All right. There you go. Okay. Okay. I look weird. <laughs> Where's my hair? It all went away. I don't know what happened. It's all gone. Um, I'm going to. Here we are. All right. So tomorrow is Fenton Friday at 10 o'clock in the morning. So we'll be doing that tomorrow morning. 
Um, and that is 10 quick lots from 10 to like 11, 11, 15, and we'll give away a prize in the morning also. And then tomorrow night um, is going to be the vintage jewelry sale. It's a lot of Joan Rivers jewelry. It's gorgeous. And then we're going to do the boutique sale. Everybody has been bugging me about the boutique sale. I don't know if I should have it on Mother's Day. And I'm working at the White Star as an auctioneer on Saturday. So it may be Monday. But we have got tons of stuff. It may be a two-day event because I have a big bunch of, uh, I have a bunch of plus for One World coming. And then Tuesday afternoon, I have a bunch of uh, mediums to extra larges coming. So um, it may be a two-day event this week, but the boutique sale is on. I got my sorting boxes. So we'll see you in the morning. I'm going to get out of here. I want to thank you so much. John, thanks you so much for um, coming out tonight. And we'll see you in the morning. Thank you, bidders. We'll see you soon. <laughs>